doesn't that run a little contrary to the democratic principles that if somebody can't reach the 15 percent threshold that they're not allowed like on a primary ballot to write in their presidential presidential candidate that they have to either sit out or join with the a group at right. the caucus that would be 15 percent or above what, what would you say to those people that would comment well about that? I mean they're right but but so what I mean the point is if you're what good does it do to have a, a primary where where you're not viable? I mean, you can have three percent of the vote. It, it, it doesn't accomplish anything. And what we're trying to do here as a party is pick a nominee. Uh, and you pick a nominee by getting a delegate. And you send the delegate to the National Convention in August of 2008 in Denver. And so you have to be, it, it while it's true, and, and even if we were doing it by secret ballot, which is probably a more significant aspect is whether or not, why should it be secret, not be secret, you have to have enough people to have a delegate. And uh, so what happens is the 15 percent, and, and, and obviously it's an arbitrary number, but you want it to work so that there's enough delegates. And uh, I think a very important thing that we, we hope will drive turnout is, in the past, it's I'm sure there are many people wonder, boy, I'm, I'm watching this show, I'd like to be involved with politics, I work hard, I've got four kids, I just don't have time, and, and I'd always like to go to a convention or, or whatnot. And one rule that we, we instituted on the state level, because we are in control of how we pick our own delegates, because it is our party, uh, we're financing it ourselves, is that if you want to go to Denver, you have to go to a caucus. Uh, you have to show up at that precinct caucus in or order to be elig eligible to get elected. So if you're watching us and you're thinking, you know, I really like that Barack Obama, I think he's great, I'd really like to help him, uh, you go around your neighborhood, get your pals together, you come in, you'll run the caucus. And uh, you get yourself elected, you go down to the county convention, you're eligible from county, you go to state, you're eligible because you're at the precinct. You can't have somebody come in and say, gee, I've been active, but I, had a, I went to a basketball game on February 9th. Well, you're out of luck. Let's talk a little bit about that. Once the results from the caucus are in, as I understand it, the dele delegates that are selected to go to Denver, where it's going to be the Democratic National Convention Correct. in 08, um, they can actually switch their vote when they get there, can't they? No. They cannot? They'll be bound unless released. Okay. So if you've committed to John Edwards, and uh, you go to your precinct caucus, say, Edwards is my guy. You are an Edwards delegate, and you are committed to John Edwards until such time as John Edwards releases you. Okay. And as a practical matter, and that's kind of, and that's why we're doing it is, that'll probably, whoever wins, we'll know by March 1st. I mean, there's a 99% chance it's over uh, so that the person will be released. So, so whoever wins, and, and, but the eligibility requirement is still there. So if you want to go to the convention, you have to have started at the precinct level. Okay. Now, let's just talk about Nebraska's history in terms of um, electing a Democrat. And it's my understanding that the last time Nebraska presidential Democratic car candidate carried Nebraska was, in LBG, was LBJ in 1964. What, what, what would, I mean, does the change to a caucus how does it encourage these presidential candidates, given Nebraska's history, encourage them to come in and spend money here to try to get the, the delegates? Well, you know, that, that's a very good question. It, it may or may not. It depends. And again, they they're want to win the nomination, so they don't care who we're going to vote for in November. Uh, if we were going on February 5th with about 22 other states, then, then, then there'd be a definite importance because there would be two candidates left. None of us know, I, and, and it was a controversial uh, matter as to when the date would be. And I know uh, the folks who prevailed by a close vote, and I wasn't one of them, but they're, they're convinced there will be at least two candidates left on February 9th. So the argument was if there are 20 states going on February 5th, we only have 17 delegates in play, uh, they're not going to come, they, they won't be able to come here. We don't know if that happened because that, that uh, argument was per persuaded the majority of the delegates at the uh, state central committee meeting or members. 
So fit, and their thinking is, and, and, and our thinking, and I hope they're correct, is that February 9th, there are two left. Let's say you have Hillary Clinton and John Edwards left. Well, obviously, we're in, somebody's going to show up because on Saturday, if there are two left and it's us, the state of Washington and the state of Louisiana, we're in play. And so for a few days, we would get that publicity. If we're not, if it's all over, the advantage of having it on a Saturday night is it'll be a social gathering. And, and while the turnout won't be as high, uh, we'll have people who are active. We, they'll be able to talk. They'll be able to give their ideas. And, and again, Kathleen, the key is many, many, many people, especially now having seen what happens when you ignore elections and, and you get, as, as, as the leader of the Republican Party in Nebraska, Senator Hagel, says, this is the most incompetent administration in the history of this country. And that's what the Republicans say. So you can imagine what us Democrats think. So people are unhappy about it, but they say, how do I do it? And, and any political party from the outside seems like a closed shop. And this is a great opportunity for those of you who are interested in politics. Go to your neighborhood ca precinct caucus and be involved. We're trying to show Kathleen that where, where the door is. Here's, our, here's the door to the Democratic Party. It's open. Come on in. We don't know what will happen the 9th. Uh, maybe it's over. Maybe it's not. But we're going to be meeting. It'll be Saturday night. Uh, and as Democrats, we, we, of course, always have a good time. Uh, we hope there will be lively uh, debate, a lot of fun. And, and at the same time, the idea is we're trying to make certain that as we uh, continue our party, that, that we have in Lancaster County a good foundation going into to the uh, election cycle and across the state that we have a good, strong foundation uh, as elections come along.